hi people you're welcome back to my channel today we'll be drafting a wrap dress with a short collar okay so i know it's going to be a wonderful time today so please sit tight and enjoy this video and please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel so i'll be starting with the back pattern okay so that's my boss point 10.5 and the waistline so i'll be using 17 inches for the waistline then connect this dotted line with the straight line okay so i'm going to rush through this part then i measure one inch on the waistline in order to remove excess ball gain at the back if you've watched my busy body pattern you understand this better so i always remove one inch from the waistline in order for the dress to be more fitted okay then there won't be zipper allowance at the back okay so then i went ahead to measure the neckline three inches for the uh, neck width and 1.5 inches for the neck depth then i measure my shoulder also my shoulder measurement divided by two and i added one uh, half inch is allowance and i came down by one inch for the shoulder slope and also fixing my upper chest line which is the arm o curve okay i also have a tutorial on how to calculate that on the channel so i'll drop the link in the description okay so just cross checking the measurements okay in order to create the the perfect ammo curve so remember it's a back pattern so i'm not going in at the ammo and i'll fix in my bust uh, circumference divided by four which is nine inches then added two inches for same allowance then at the waist also i measured the dart placement okay and you know from the upper chest line i came down by one inch in order to connect the dart properly then i fixed in my waist circumference divided by four also which is seven inches then one inch for that allowance then two inches for my seam allowance so and that is that then i'll connect this together you can either use this curve or you just use a straight line but this curve helped me in achieving a good um, waist okay so this is for the front please note that i left some allowance in front and also at the top okay so now i'm measuring the boss point which is 10.5 okay then the waistline also so please it's very important leave some free space before your center front and also at the top then for the neckline the neck depth i measure three inches okay then my shoulder seven plus half inch and also the shoulder slope the ammo curve okay all these are important so i'm just going through the basic bodies okay so that you guys can get this very well okay so now creating the ammo curve you know for the front pattern you measure whatever you are um okay before that the the neckline so i measured the three by three inches three inches neck width and three inches neck depth okay then at the shoulder um yes at that point you divide it by two okay then you go in by three quarter inch then create a very smooth curve there that's for the front remember we don't need that for the back okay so and that is that so we go ahead and um draw the dart for the front which is bust to bust measurement uh, which is eight inches then from your bust point i came down by two inches that's for the front two inches from the bust point but for the back i use uh, one inch from the chest line upper chest line and i measure half inch on both sides okay then i'll go ahead and fix in my bust circumference divided by two nine inches plus two inch two inches for seam allowance then on the waist also my waist divided by four plus one inch for that allowance and two inches for the seam allowance so all this is just the normal basic bodies so now we are now going to the wrap 
so you can either the, the wrap can stop at the dart area or after the dart or even by the seam uh, by the side it depends but for this video i'm going to stop at the dart placement you understand so after closing the dart that's where my wrap is going to stop so i measure what i have from my center front down to my actual dart so whatever i have there that's what i'm extending forward so which is four inches because my nipple to nipple measurement is eight inches divided by two so from my center front to my dart placement four inches so i've measured that then now we have to go back to the back pattern that was why i measured it i we drafted it first so we're going to measure the neckline yes from the shoulder down to the center back so whatever you have that's what we we'll use for the continuation of the color so measure it and be sure it's accurate take it carefully you can see it has to be curved okay okay so now from the extension you're going to connect a slanted line up to the neckline just like so remember how we got that extension i said it's going to stop at the that placement so you connect this slanted line down to your neckline then we'll go ahead and pick the back pattern just like so and you measure it carefully carefully from the center back down up to the shoulder it has to be curved just follow the neckline the way it is so whatever you have you continue with it just like this you measure it up i think mine is about four inches so you okay you measure it up just like so it has to follow the slanted line that you you, you measured earlier then from there measure measure like this and find the midpoint then go back by maybe half inch or quarter inch so i just went back by quarter inch and connected it to the midpoint of the new line i drew okay now for the neck uh shoulder this thing uh, width it depends on how you want it but i'll be going with three inches if you want it you can go more than that three inches okay so i came forward by three inches then i'm going to connect the three in i'm going to measure the same three inches um uh, throughout this slanted line so that's why i went down measure the three inches so that means we need to extend this by three inches so three, this measurement means when the when, when the color is on food, it's going to be 1.5 inches. You understand? So if you want it bigger, you can make it 4 inches. But at least for a moderate one, 3 inches is okay. That's on food. Well, without as in ordinarily. So by the time it's on food, it will be 1.5 inches. Okay. So then you connect this line. You can see I'm using a dotted line because I'm still going to work on it. In order for the collar to fall back at the neck, so you can go on go up by maybe one inch or one point five inches. So I only went up by one inch, then you connect it. Yes, just like so. So please just watch the video carefully, you understand it better also. So this is what I have for the collar. Honestly, it's as simple as this there's no magic anyway it's as simple as this okay so next thing now we'll go ahead and cut this so now i'll be cutting the color with the with the with, with the pattern with the whole of the uh, front pattern you understand so i'm not separating the color from it i know there might be some cases you might need to remove the color and attach it separately it's all good but for this video, I'm just, I cut the whole thing together. Okay, so this is what we have. This is the back. And that's the front. So the next thing, we'll go ahead and cut the fabric. And do the joining. So please don't go anyway. Because this is going to be so interesting. Okay. So this is the back pattern. The fabric is cut on fold. With the joining allowance at the back 
then you notch the dart area and also the front pattern you can see the joining allowance everywhere okay please remember to add your joining allowance please since there's uh, there's a line coming to be attached to it okay so in order to create facing for this front okay so i'm going to divide the shoulder and by two so find the midpoint and connect it to the dart placement okay so that when i fold this uh, the collar the, the 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 fabric of choice will be showing okay so if you like it depends on what you want you can use satin or another plain fabric for the facing of the center front so i'm going to fold it this way and cut the facing then i'll use the other lining for the remaining parts okay so now this is the facing for the front for the collar you can see it covers the collar and parts or uh, it's not part of the, the dart area okay so these are the uh, the materials i'll be working with everything the main uh, front pattern the main front pattern with the short collar and this is the facing also carrying the short collar okay and the lining so i'll be using this navy blue lining so it will be attached to it so when wrapping or anything the lining won't show at all and this is the back with the lining also okay so i've joined the back at the at the center back so join it together this is what we have and i also work on the dart and this is the the, the main front pattern i've joined the short collar at the back also so at the neckline you can see the way it is already so make sure it is well aligned before you fix uh, the lining to it and this is the lining for the front okay and this is also the lining for the back this is everything okay so now what i did here i've joined everything together so i fixed the front and the back pattern put them together right side to right side okay then the lining the back lining was now placed the right side to uh, the, the, the wrong side of the back so that after joining at the shoulder, I was able to flip it over. So what we'll do first is join each cloth at the shoulder first, each shoulder first, before you now connect, sew the neckline. I hope you understand. You first join them at the shoulder, right side to right side. Join them at the shoulder, then you come and sew the collar and the neckline together okay it's as simple as that they remember to notch please this part is somehow tricky so please pay attention to it while sewing yours and it will surely come at well it takes patience please doing that part you have to be patient enough please okay then you give it a good press fold it fold the short collar the way it should be then align the clothes the way it should be that's like so make sure yes it's well wrapped okay so make sure it's well wrapped so now i've joined it at the um yes i joined it at the side so i'll be using overlocking so that's why i didn't do close um joining okay so i joined it using my body measurements okay then make make sure the overlap um, is well seated <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> make sure it's well placed remember we said it's going to stop at the dart location so and that's the same thing i'm doing now before you can join the down parts to it see the shoulder is well placed uh, the, the collar is well placed so and yes just trying to fix it well so this excess that I show you, you can trim it off or even after joining the down part it won't, it won't show that you'll be able to trim it off so now in order to complete this dress measure your actual gown length okay from your shoulder down to wherever you want the length to be then whatever you have you subtract your waistline from it okay so if you like you can fix zipper at the side but my for this tutorial i won't be fixing any zipper the the, the dress will go around okay i hope this video is helpful 
please if it is remember to give this video a thumbs up and if you are yet to subscribe to my channel please subscribe and remember to put on your notification bell so that you get notified each time i post a new video so thank you guys for watching bye